If you're new to my channel at the moment I'm turning this full transit into an urban stealth camper van. Today I'll just give you a little update. There's my panel all done. Now this is all tongue and groove right down to the floor from floor to ceiling. Now when I do this tongue and groove I always start with the ceiling. I'll do the ceiling first. There's the frame for the skylight. Now somebody asked me how come you haven't fitted the fan yet? We've had some lovely weather. Why haven't you fitted the fan? Well, I'll be honest with you, I kind of um, forgot to order the mastic tape to seal the fan, so I'm still waiting for that to come in the post. And you watch when it comes, it'll start raining. But yeah, the reason I haven't fitted the fan yet is because I haven't got the tape to seal it. But, you know, there's no urgency in that. There's no urgency at all. The hole's there, the frame's there. It can be fitted as and when the weather allows me. And at the end of the day, if the weather doesn't turn to my favour, I've got a friend, I've got a really good friend that's got a massive big workshop. And I'm sure if I ask nicely, they'll let me borrow it a bit of space in the corner <laughs> if push comes to shove to do the fan and uh, the solar panel. So yeah, there's no rush, there's no urgency. It's there, it's ready, the wiring's ready, the aperture's ready. Pretty much all I've got to do is cut a hole in the roof and put the fan in. Simple, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so my cladding, I'll start with the ceiling and then I'll do the sides. And you can see why I do that. Because look at that lovely join. Now, if you used to do the sides first and then the ceiling, you just simply wouldn't get this nice edge. And I see so many people build campers and they make this simple mistake and they end up putting like rope or lights or something to hide that join but the way I do it there's no need as you can see it's pretty perfect I think I'm not blowing my own trumpet or anything the same goes for this side now someone complained that I don't show enough detail that I don't show you me doing the actual work and uh, so yeah in this video I'm going to show you a little tip on how I do the top the last panel before the door because this needs to fit nice. Now I've put this panel in place, I've cut it to length, it's held in with one little tiny screw. And if I go outside, I'll show you how I'll mark it and how I'll cut it and all that good stuff. I'll just pop outside. Right, so from outside the van, as you can see, there's a bit of an overhang. Now, this wouldn't be very good for getting in and out because you're gonna bang your head probably. So what I do, like I said earlier, this piece, this single strip is screwed up here with one single screw. I've just put one single screw in place. So from outside, I'll get my little IKEA pencil. These are really useful. Um, I do recommend if you go to IKEA, just borrow a few of these. Um, what's the word? Other stores available. <laughs> I think Argos oh used to do these, but they don't do them anymore. They give you little pens. So with these little tiny pencil, you can get up in these little tiny gaps and mark it along, mark it all the way around, all the way down, get that nice curve as well. And that's it, simple as that. Just use a little pencil, mark it, take it down, cut, it, cut the bit out. Then once you're done cutting out, you need to smooth all those edges down, all those rough cut edges. And to do that, I use a diamond file. Now this file is actually meant for ceramic tiles. And unlike a wood file, it doesn't clog up because it's pretty much like sandpaper. I don't know if you can see the edges of that. Can you see that? Yeah. So it's like sandpaper. So like a wood file is these little tiny raspy pores. And when they plug, clog up, the only way to unclog them is using a wire brush. And now I find that this cladding, because it's such a soft wood, it does clog up the files really easily. But this, never, it never clogs up. It's, like I say, it's just like sandpaper, but it's um, it's got some kind of diamond impregnated um, surface on it. And I've actually had this a good 10 years, probably longer, and it's still as good as the day I bought it. But saying that, I've never actually used it on ceramic tiles, so it's never gone blunt. It's only ever been used on wood, and it's perfect. Give you another shot of what it looks like so far. Right, so I'm going to take this down now. Now I've marked it, I'm going to take it down, try and cut it out as close as I can to where I've marked it, and then uh, check, make sure it fits, 
and then file it all nice and smooth. I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute. Well, have a look at that. Absolutely spot on. I don't think I could have done this any better if I tried. It follows the curvature of the door absolutely perfect. The height is perfect as well. I think I've outdone myself here. <laughs> Even if I do say so myself. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can actually see what it looks like. Right, so this is what it looks like on the other side, as you can see, it's absolutely spot on. It mirrors the contours of the van perfectly. Now a little bit of inside information for you, because of this lip here, and when I was marking it with the pencil pointing upwards, if I had followed the actual pencil line along here. This would have been um, probably this much shorter. So from there, inside looking out, you'd be able to see the frame of the van more. But because I've cut the other side of the pencil line, it's come out absolutely perfect. What I'll do, I'll take this down and show you what I mean. Oh. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that. There's my pencil line there, you can see. So you can see how much I've actually left on. I've left a good couple of mil on the timber and the reason behind that is because you can always cut a little bit off you can't put it back on I'll just flip back so that's again. why it's a really good idea when you're marking stuff out you, you mark your pencil line cut the other side of your pencil line always use always leave sorry not use always leave a little bit of extra timber on so that you can always trim it back a little bit because the old saying goes you can always trim a bit more off but you can never put it back on so uh, yeah that's why I've done it like that and I'll show you again you can see my pencil line all the way along there now, it's only a couple of mil but it makes a lot of difference if I'd actually cut along that line it wouldn't have looked anywhere near as neat because you'd be at, some of this metal would be exposed still and uh, yeah a little bit of advice for you <laughs> so anyway I'm going to carry on now I'm going to carry on doing this I'm going to cut the timber screw it to there and I'll get back to you when that's all done I'll show you what it looks like I might even film a bit more as I go <laughs> well there you go it's all done there I mean, you took half hour <laughs> you believe that you believe anything <laughs> a little bit longer than half hour <laughs> let's say all day shall we <laughs> right so my cladding's done it's from the floor to the ceiling it's done both sides look from the floor right up to the ceiling and even the ceiling's all finished off i'll tell you what i don't mind if i never see another bit of cladding ever again <laughs> oh hang on my door still needs doing oh no <laughs> and that door as well <laughs> well i'm going to leave the clad in now for a little while for a couple of days at least because quite frankly i'm over it <laughs> now you might have spotted this my little usb socket there you know i've put two of these one each side there you go there's one that side as well hang on that one looks higher <laughs> are they both the same level <laughs> oh dear let me just quickly check this or is it just me does it look like it in the camera well that one is level with the backlight there oh no that one's level with the backlight now that's all right they're both the same i was a bit worried then in the camera it looked like that one was higher than that side anyway these little USB sockets are brilliant. I mean, there's so many things you can get now to plug into these. There's those little USB fans. Um, there's little lights you can plug in. Charge your mobile phone on them. What more do you need? <laughs> what else do you have? There you go. That's all you need now. You don't need all this 240 volts. We don't need none of that. All we need is five volts, <laughs> I think. Yeah, five volts, that's all they are and uh, I've got this thing about keeping things nice and simple because the simpler you keep stuff generally the safer it is as well so yeah keep it simple keep it safe that's the same for the day I think <laughs> and there you are so uh, well, oh yeah the edging look how that's turned out that has really turned out nice look at that I'm really pleased with that that's come really nice look now I've got to do a little bit of infill here because the shape of the van kind of goes out it kind of goes out and in again I need to put a little bit of wood down inside there just to fill that gap that shouldn't take too long a little bit of whittling <laughs> good old school stuff for that um, 
Yeah, I might, I'll save that for a rainy day. I can sit in here and just carve a bit of wood just to fit inside that slot there, just to finish it off nicely. There you go, that's you up to date. You're all up to date now. That's me progress so far. It's only taken a day <laughs> or two <laughs> or three. <laughs> next job. Um, our next job is, I think, is to do the wheel arches, make the boxes for the wheel arches. Um, oh, yeah, this bit of wire here. That's not just some random bit of wire laying there. That's actually for the solar panels. I've run the wires already up into the roof, through the roof. And it's all sitting up there ready for when I put the solar panels up. So that's another job I haven't got to worry about. And again, solar panel, that can go on last. It's not important. Um, there's no rush to put it up there. Uh, yeah, just a little bit of forward planning, that's all. Right, well that's it. I'm going to call it a day. I'm cold, I'm hungry. Even though the sun's been out, it's really cold. It's quite chilly. I think it's going to snow. Oh, sorry about that. I just brushed the microphone. Yeah, right, so I'm going to go now. I'm rambling on. So thanks for watching. If you do like my channel, if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up, because apparently the more thumbs up I get, the more views I get, because something to do with YouTube analytics or the algorithm and all that weird stuff stuff that's beyond me but apparently the more thumbs up i get the more my videos are promoted on youtube the more views i get the more i'm inspired to make more videos so if you want to see more don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel like i say please do consider subscribing and most importantly leave a comment below and if you've got any questions please do feel free to ask i do try and answer all your questions right i'm gonna go now <laughs> And remember, keep it simple, keep it safe. Thanks for watching. Ta-da for now.